opening day, Whispering Pines, not a divot on the golf course. So get up here and see us. But first, we're going to talk to Michael Decoff, Director of Agronomy. Had the hottest summer on record as far as our tenure here. And I'm going to hand the microphone over to him. So tell us what's going on. We had a very long, hot summer. Um, I have to give all the credit to my guys and Cody Fissler, AJ Persley leading the way. They have kept this place looking like a golf course and uh, with what we went through, not an easy task. Um, we had rain July 6th and 54 days later, we got three tents, which evaporated pretty much before it hit the ground. But we did get all of our practices done this summer, airification, bird cutting, um, lots and lots of fun stuff, but they all got it done, so big thanks to, to all the guys. We have a tremendous amount of dead trees, as you can imagine. We're cutting them down as quick as they're dying, and they're winning the race. So hopefully by the end of the year, we'll have a lot of them cleaned out. Um, we still have some ongoing construction. Um, we had all the roads repaired, patched, and several areas. Uh, we put in the washed aggregate up at the front gate, being the, the most prominent one. Um, so hopefully your drive in now is not a bumpy lumpy one. We're working on the water feature on number 18. So you'll be seeing guys over there. They're off to the far left. We're trying our best to stay out of everybody's way. Uh, we still have a cottage in the village that's being built. And so we're going to be doing a lot of work down there as well. A lot of people don't understand because we closed down July and August, how much work these guys do to make it perfect when you come back. So you might not see everything they do, but behind the scenes, they work even harder than they already work in the, in the months we're off. Now, last thing, and this is very important. We've had a lot of fires uh, that pop up and definitely we had a huge one up in the Huntsville area did not affect us uh, now Michael and I do not smoke he chews on a cigar and and I've borrowed one of these um, and if you do this you probably should quit but anyways there is a no smoking ban on this property because we are in a severe drought uh, so please make sure and adhere to that because we want to keep this thing the way it is and obviously all that's gone into it, we don't need one of these destroying it. So Mike, thanks for all you do. I'm gonna go ahead and just crumble that one up. Don't throw it on the ground though. And I uh, appreciate you and your staff. Thank you. All right. Opening day, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, looking forward to seeing everybody up here in Spirit Hall for breakfast, lunch, dinner. Uh, appetizers so uh, we'll see you soon it's opening day here at Whispering Pines we're super excited to see everyone here back at the course again um, I'm just gonna talk a second just about the new wines that we have uh, coming out this season these two are just specifically from our duck horn portfolio but come out and try a couple of our new selections that we have special for this season whenever you guys do get out here on the course uh, make sure that you stop by in between holes 12 and 13 at our par bar that we have we have a brand new specialty milkshake menu uh, just for you guys out here, as well as our uh, full service food menu out here. Hey everybody, Colton here from Whispering Pines. Just want to give you a warm welcome back. Golf course is open, looking great and ready for you to come play. We have our tournaments this fall. The getaway will lead us off on September 16th. It's an 11 o'clock shotgun couples event, very informal, really designed to get you introduced to other couples at the club. Ton of fun, you should really check it out. Bring your wife out and enjoy a great day of golf. We have our shootout member guests the last weekend of September, uh, September 29th through October 1st. And last tournament of the fall is our family team challenge. It's the Saturday after Thanksgiving. Once again, another great event, ton of fun, really designed to just get you out here and enjoy a day with the family and introduce you to other families at, at Whispering Pines. Thank you, Colton. Now we're going to talk a little bit about merchandise. Uh, when you get here this season, we have a bunch of new merchandise. Uh, American Needle, Peter Millar, Straight Down, and Holderness and Born. Brand new belts this year. We went with JT Spencer by Peter Millar, so really good belts there. And you'll see some new designs on hats and head covers as well. Uh, let me talk about a little bit about member-only bags. So we sent out that uh, email a few weeks ago. Uh, that's still open if you want to buy the new Titleist Lynx Master bag. We have those ready. Also, if you want to do corporate orders, we're going to do 20% off if you do your corporate order through us. Excited to see you out this season.
first tip of the fall season. If you notice, max distance 250 yards. We've got these on the range. We're allowing everybody to hit off the grass. We try to stay off the mats unless it's really, really wet. But uh, if you have a guest that comes up here and he's a long hitter, we've got all these brand new Pro V1s. We don't want to see them flying over the building or hitting the building. So make sure that we adhere to this. If you hit it over 250 yards, please take a club that goes less than that so you don't hurt the building. Now let's get to the tip. All right, just put on a new Titleist glove, little logo here. A lot of times when I see people hit shots, they come up and out of their posture and their logo actually works up, which causes thin shots. So if I come up on the, like that, then I'm gonna hit it really thin. It's not gonna work out very good. So a really good way to have great ball striking and compression is think about the club head just covering that golf ball like this. Now what I like to do is kind of feel like that's happening, but then I'm gonna take the glove and we're gonna work it to where it's working down. So I call this knuckles down or logo down. So when you start down on the golf ball, we don't wanna work up, we want our knuckles to actually work down into it. And if you notice when I do that, it's squaring up the club and that's where we'd want it. So when you go back out to hit shots and getting ready for the fall season at Whispering Pines, when you get up here to the top, we're gonna to go knuckles down and that's your very first move on the downswing. So let's see how it works. First swing of the morning, basically. Just like that. As you know, we run intern programs through here at Whispering Pines, and one of our goals here is to mentor these young men that come through the program at Sam Houston State, along with in the summertime, we bring in interns from different collegiate programs around the country. So we've got our three guys here for the fall season. We got our newbie here, Jackson. Then we have Jack and Steven. So Jackson, tell me where your, where your internship was this summer and what year in uh, college you are. So I interned at Dallas National Golf Club this summer. Um, and I'm a senior in the PGA Golf Management Program at Sam Houston State. My name's Jack. I interned at Southern Hills Country Club up in Tulsa this summer, and I'm also a senior at Sam Houston. My name's Steven. I interned at Sabana Golf Club in Southampton, New York this summer, and I'm also a senior in the PGA program. So as you can see, these young men are working at some of the best clubs in the country, and they make our operation better. We're helping them become golf professionals and hopefully mentoring you good. and. Uh, Look forward to a great fall season with all three of you. Thanks for being here, guys.